Hi everybody, it's Lavinia. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am going to do a flip through of this coloring book that I just received. It's from Posh Coloring Book, Inspired by Nature, by Marjolaine Bastin. And I saw it on Amazon and I purchased it there. It, I purchased it when Amazon was having their special of buy one, get one 50% off. So I did buy it with another book and I'll do that flip through on another in another video. But the reason I chose this one is naturally because of the nature and I liked these subdued colors. I don't know if anyone's ever colored into uh, using a posh book. It's very pretty colors but what I liked about this book is that it has the design already colored in here and then it has the trace here or the blank page where you can, if you wanted to, use these same colors to color in here. And I think the pictures are really, really pretty. Little ladybugs here, snails, some feathers in this one. Here's some chickens, a wheelbarrow. And what's also kind of cool is that you can, let's say I just wanted to maybe test out the colors here, or just do this onion here. I don't have to do the whole picture, and I can also choose other colors as well. Look how cute these geese with the little baby chicks, and then in the for the background here are some other geese. And the colors are kind of muted, which is also kind of nice. Everything doesn't have to always be bright. So here are some flowers and paint brushes. The paper does feel a little bit thin in the sense that I wouldn't use watercolor or any type of wet media, so not my um, real brush pens or anything like that or my alcohol markers. I would definitely just use um, my color pencils, which is okay because, again, it's kind of a muted um, picture here. So here's some Easter eggs, Easter bunny, little bunny here as well. And each tracing is in a different color. So here are some cardinals. We actually had some cardinals in our backyard the other day. Some feathers. So maybe if I just wanted to test out the colors on the feathers, the eggs. We have the female that comes as well as the male. And these look like mushrooms with some hydrangeas here, which are nice too. Some more flowers in a bucket. And as you can see, the colors are different. Maybe this one has more purple, that other one had more yellow, some moths and bees to color in. Here are some boots, pencil, backpack, some more flowers with some lace doily. That'll be nice to color in. Park bench. Here's a snail little bug there as well with some lotus flowers here's goldfinch so I definitely want to do with some thistle I definitely want to color in look how cute that little face is I definitely want to color in this because if you see my videos I do have some goldfinch that come and uh, come onto the flowers that I have uh, that we have in our backyard so this I definitely want to color in so this this is more like an autumny autumn colored theme with the with the moths and the these look like pomegranate apples maybe some blues and yellows blues and greens again variety of nature theme with the bird's nest ladybug interesting they have pencils thrown in here and there as well as paintbrushes. So that's kind of cool too. Here, in fact, look, here's a pencil. Our little friend, the hummingbird. Some more mushroom. Little birdhouse with the bird and some berries. And again, here are some more paintbrushes. So that's nice, that's more Christmassy. Some birds, a turtle dove. Woodpecker, cute little mouse, snow scene, 
So that'll be interesting to learn how to use the colored pencils for a snow scene. We also get these little birds in our backyard. That's cute. These look like lovebirds. And it looks like they also have some words here. And even though it's in the print color here, you can go ahead then and just use your colored pencils for that. So very nice. This again is also reminds me of a Christmas theme just because of the berries and the holly. Butterfly. Paint can, so, or not paint can, but watering can. So this will be interesting to learn how to maybe do me, you know, color in for metal, color in the texture of wood. Some more chickens and roosters. Ladybugs and butterflies, moths, and um, some shells there. That's an interesting texture for these petals on these flowers. So I like, I like that about this book as well. Cute little squirrel. So learning how to do the texture of the fur, because as you can see here in this section, pretty much the tail is blank as well as the body. So that will be nice to, you know, to learn how to do um, the fur as well as bark of the tree, even though it's a little bit um, already kind of marked in here, but not all of it. So that texture of not only the rock and the grass, but a lot of textures in this particular one. And then here's some more birds. This is pretty too with the leaves and the brick. So I really like this. This will help me, I think, with textures, birds, feathers, the different colors of making these leaves uh, seem aged. I think that's probably you know, strawberries. Don't know what kind of bird this is, but it's got its little chicks there. Again, more wood texture. Here's a little chipmunk. We do get one once in a while in our backyard with a tree stump. Some more birds with a different maize corn, pumpkins, little bunny rabbit, and here's like a little section by itself with these flowers. So I could probably test it out on here and then do it in the in the actual picture. So this looks like it's a maybe a beach ocean scene with the seashells, the um, the snails or Maybe crab. Some more birds here out by the ocean. So as you can see here, more seashells, sea urchins, basket, you know how to do the texture of that, and the sand and the starfish. This is really pretty too. Kind of like a Valentine's Day with the little hearts there. Ocean scene, this is really pretty with the broken pottery. There's a little bug there, it's probably gonna be that little bird's meal. <laughs> Another few hummingbirds, butterflies. So that's with that subtle background. So giving that perspective, so that's kind of nice too. Here's another ocean. Here's a bee. The bumblebee right in there. Here's a frog, lotus, again some birds and their baby chicks. There's a little baby chick hiding right underneath the wing. Here's another squirrel. These are chestnuts. I remember when we lived in Italy, we would. Um, you know, go into the mountains and there would be chestnut trees and we would um, gather them. These are kind of green. The ones that are actually ripe are brown. So you have to kind of be careful because they were kind of um, spiny, but we would uh, pick chestnuts that way. So this is a different type of scenery. Here's the daytime and then they have this 
with the nighttime. So that's kind of interesting. Here's the picture. Oh, sweet little bunny rabbit. Look how cute is that? With the dandelions, moth here, the little violets. Really, really cute. And again, with that soft background. So that'll be, again, interesting to learn about that layering and trying that out. Some hydra hydrangea. Oh, this is nice too. Some elk, elk or moose in the um, in a snowstorm. So again, that'll be interesting to then have these highlights. I could probably use, I imagine, a white gel pen or white gouache. Maybe not too wet to use it on the paper. I'll have to test that out and see. Seashells, birds in a palm tree. Here's some woodpeckers. And again, even trying to get that texture is going to be really interesting. So I find this is really a good book to try out your techniques and various textures. Some more lovebirds, getting those feathers in, if you can see here. That's cute too with the roses. Here's some more strawberries, a snail, a little bird there getting this building in here. This is a really pretty color scheme with the orchids. And again, there's that flower with that odd petal. It looks like a tulip, but I don't know. Some little, they look like little otters. Really cute. Some more birds here. This looks like some, some type of succulent. Some more little sparrows. Texture of wood. Feathers. Looks like berries. Some more deer and a little flower there by itself. Some squirrels at a bird feeder or bird bath. Here's some chestnuts. There's a little ant there, which they are blackened in here, but you would probably want to color them, um, you know, to get that, that color there. Some mushrooms. This is also interesting to get, this is going to be really interesting to get this leaf looking like that. Here it is on the, on the page. All right, and that is it. So this was published back in 2017, but it is new to me. I am new to the world of coloring books. So I'm looking forward to using this and Coloring in it, I'm going to be using my Shuttle Art, which um, 174 set, which I did actually go ahead and swatch out. So I'm going to uh, try this, and I hope you join along. I will probably, as I color, whether it's a portion or a full page, you know, maybe I'll just do one section at a time. I hope you join me in this, and subscribe to get upcoming videos on further tutorials and um, my other uh, book flip for my other coloring book and hope to see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye.